welcome you to the Cobb farm. Our farm is, is definitely a family oriented farm. You know, the kids, they grab the bull there by the horns. My name's Stone Cobb, the best Cobb. Hey guys, welcome to Cardinal Farms. Luckily, both boys are really interested in the farms. You gotta get it when they're getting good. You know, to make that work is <laughs> mostly an understanding wife. We came out the other day, Brooks looked out and he says, Nikki, did you put the pen back in the gate? And I said, yeah. Rock and roll. You don't try this at home, please. That's how you work dirt. <laughs> that Kevin Cobb. He's one of the best farmers in America. So them Cardinal boys, Brooks and Brandon, you know, I tell you what, that's that's a hard working family. They do a fantastic job. Me and Dallas have been working on a new state of the art closing system. Farming's actually pretty fun. Let's get muddy. Welcome folks to this season of discovering things that's happening on the family farm. Hello everybody, welcome you to the Cobb Farm. We've got Joe Deadman here uh, with Monty's. He's the corn whisperer. Got my wife, Sean. Um, she's gonna be hauling fertilizer and seed corn down to us. Uh, we're gonna try to plant some corn today. And then we got Gooms, great philosopher, I guess you would say. He kind of overshadows everything we do, make sure we don't make too many mistakes there. We are, as of today, about 20% planted for corn, just about perfect plant conditions. Let's go ahead down there and get after it. My name is Joe Dedman. I'm Vice President of Agronomy for Monty's Plant Food Company. And we're gonna explore some things with you to help you understand what the normal farm family goes through in a growing season. As we're exploring the family farm and all that's made up of it, we see Kevin in the tractor planting with his planter and equipment. But behind the scenes, his wife is taking care of other things on the farm. How was 7027? How did they figure that, Joe, on? I'm curious now. Like, so how do I know what maturity that is for decal. See, right here it says 120. So, so that means from the time you put it in the ground mm -hmm. to the time that you're getting ready to harvest it, it's in the ground for 120 days. At the beginning of the day, we'll go out there and we'll take the totes that we get from Monty's. Well, our farm is, is definitely a family-oriented farm. You know, the kids, they grab the bull there by the horns up from hauling seed to loading the planter for us to pumping fertilizer in to picking up turkeys, you know, checking our turkeys. Whatever we need done, the kids and, and the wife there uh, jump in and, and full blast. And we'll load up Kevin's planter. So before I go, I make sure that he's got whatever variety of corn, depending on what field he's planting. In this tank here, we have a Kevin's secret concoction of nitrogen and his uh, micronutrients, and that makes this crop grow to produce big time yield. Installing fertilizer at the same time he's planting the seeds. One trip, one pass, and he's done here. Sometimes they may not have uh, the best attitude, I should say. <laughs> they, they'll say I'm grouchy all the time, but when I get really grouchy at plant time, and they, they can do it all. I, I don't want to tell them, but they can probably do it better than me, so <laughs> I don't want to give them a big ego there, but they're getting pretty good at this stuff. just started planting a few days ago. Uh, we just got a rain, put a halter on all of our planting here. So uh, it's nothing that we haven't faced before, but it is a little aggravating, I guess you'd say. So, but we are kind of uh, run a little bit behind. You know, there's a lot of headaches that go involved with farming. I would much rather be 
dry than wet. With the dry, yeah, you're waiting for rain, but you can at least get out and do something. We can't do nothing out really in the field. You know, it just, it's just mud. We can lose a crop in four or five days real easy to drowning from, the, from too much water. Either way, they're both not very good. I don't want either one of them, but some stuff that, that's in farming that you have zero control that kind of hits you sideways there, then um, uh, we're just hoping for the best right now. Hey guys, welcome to Cardinal Farms. So we just got a lot going on. There, there's a lot of people that make this operation work. It's a team. I mean, you hear team a lot in sports and this ain't no different. I mean, this can't happen with one person. I mean, it takes so many and there's so many people behind the scene too. Luckily, both boys are really interested in the farms. Today we're out here at Cardinal Farms and uh, we're cultivating these fields so we can get some crops planted today. Cultivator is, it breaks up the ground and it just smooths it out. It's just like driving on a blacktop road instead of a rock road. You don't want your planter to have to struggle to put your seed in the ground. So you bring this cultivator through here and break it up so it's a nice, easy planting when you come in the planter. As a kid, the main thing I did was farm. I started driving tractor when I was eight years old. And my dad said, do you want to learn how to drive tractor today? And I said, well, yeah, I guess so. People think that farmers are just hillbillies that are out there with their overalls just messing around and uh, it's actually not that. It's so much different than back in the day with all these screens and the GPS, everything helping you out to get stuff done so we can raise all these crops for people. The nice thing about these John Deere is that they got this really nice auto sear system. People's like, you don't work. The only thing you do is let the tractor do itself. It's not that easy. You gotta get out and make sure everything is okay. Sometimes, if you break something down, you just leave the tractor here and you go get parts and you gotta fix it. You can't just go without it, with it being broke. That's just not how it works. But, this in here is already wearing on that block. It's got so big of a hole in it. This in here is about to snap off. So here is a brand new shovel that connects to your shank that breaks up the ground. And here's the old one. As you can see here, it's got holes and cracks and it's just nice and wore down. Your, it, I call them wings, your wings are all wore down. You put it on top of here, you can tell the difference. It ain't got a point on it. You got holes in it and it's not very thick. It's real thin. If you don't replace the shovels, the shank will wear out, then you have to buy a whole new shank instead of buying just the shovel, and it's so much more expensive. So here we're replacing the shovels. So here, this tool here comes with this. So you shove it down in here, and you just push down on your spring to release it underneath of your shovel, and you just take a hammer and you beat it off. Here's the new one. It's all in the new ones, all you have to do is push them on. You can beat it with a hammer, it ain't gonna come off. You just gotta replace them. If not, you have to replace this whole thing and it's a lot of money. We got these two replaced and I don't see any more bad ones, so let's go run this machine and fill cultivate this ground. It's nice to hang out on the farm every day and just work some ground. It's a lot of work and it's really nice to go to school and learn all this stuff and you can come out here and use it on the farm. Some people will like it and some people will never like it, but I like it. I'm pretty much wrapped up. This is my last field for this year actually and all the fields ready for my dad to come through and just lay some seeds in there and hopefully I had a good crop this year. Everybody, Red Cobb Farms. Today uh, we got a rain out. We got a special guest appearance of Mr. Michael Fatty Lenny. We all call him Fatty. Looking for stuff to do today, so we pulled out the guns and uh, we're gonna have a little target practice. You gonna shoot? No, I'm gonna be the checker. I'm checker. sure nobody's cheating. May the best shot win, fellas and ladies. Mikey, you're crack showing. Just kidding. <laughs> now that was some niche. Uh, we're here with our good friend, 
Michael Fatty Lenny. Been a lifetime, basically a lifetime, I guess. Uh, I coached him when he was a freshman uh, basketball, and if he shoots a rifle the way he shot a basketball, this would be an easy win. So, Mikey is super into nature, I guess you would say. The bite on that is a lot different. If you would actually feel that, it hurts like hell. <laughs> For a shit's sake, let go now. <laughs> And he'll just hold on for a while. Good God Almighty! <laughs> you know, my kids have really grown very fond of hanging around with him. I mean, the guy's hilarious. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Woo Get him let go. Get a water hose. Get a water hose. <laughs> for sake, your water hose. Especially my boy, you know, uh, Kogan. Uh, I think you two kind of battle back and forth about smarting each other off. And it's quite comical between you two guys. Over 20 years too late. <laughs> <laughs> he, fits, he fits in pretty good. This is the most fun we've had in a long time. The last time that we shot guns was when uh, Brooks and Nikki came over. So I think you guys need to have a yeah. shoot off. God. Don't you think? <laughs> Kogan shot first. Wasn't too bad. Ryland was a little rougher. Shut up. <laughs> Fatty was up here, and I'm over here. Now, granted, we're shooting 2,000 yards away. <laughs> There's, and if you look, there is a thunderstorm coming. It's like 70 mile an hour winds right now. Crosswind. Can't even see the target. I'm colorblind. They're using red marker. Oh, no, I pulled way off. Didn't even hit the box. <laughs> Still getting better. All right, let's do it again. The box. <laughs> Zip. This is the final countdown. We both actually three shots in a row nailed dead center. Yeah. So this is it. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Shoot at the left corner of the tape, the yellow fluorescent tape. Oh, wait, 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 fatty. In case we shoot high into the, you know, shoot high, we'll miss it. So go on the bottom right of that other tape. All right. Inch high. Inch high. Oh. Didn't blow when Fatty was down there, you son of a buck. I, I don't even know if I hit it. Oh, yeah. Fatty! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Definitely closer to that line than when I am. Oh, so you guys are shooting yeah, at the corner. corner. So this is Fatty, Rain's coming. and this is Kevin. Damn it! <laughs> That's one of the only things I got done better than him at. My gun's a little bit strong today. We had our first annual shooting contest, I guess, and I, I don't think I have a participation trophy for him because I, I think I won. I mean, now, now granted, now granted, we are in severe thunderstorm warning right now. There was probably 35, 40 mile an hour wind gusts. I mean, I thought them were tears. <laughs> <laughs> Fatty, we, we do appreciate you coming over. I was in pretty crappy mood today. You always do when you come around, put a smile on everybody's face. Good, that's what we call good friends, man. We need that. I'm shot sure. better. <laughs> I think it's about time for you guys to get going here. Um, we should be mixing chemicals, but I think uh, me and Fatty's, we're gonna mix us a drink. See you guys. Hello everybody. Today we're out here strip tilling. This is a, what they call a soil warrior. Right here on these strips, they are set at 30 inches wide from here to here to here. And this is what we use for our seed bed. So the good thing about this is we'll come in now and spray to kill the weeds, but then we'll plant right here on these strips and we will not disturb this ground here so we can hold moisture a lot better. 
So they're, they're calling for a bunch of rain actually tomorrow, the next three days. But whenever it starts to dry back out, when we come in here to plant, these strips here will be a lot drier and a lot warmer for that seed to germinate and grow. Kind of walk you through a little bit on the strip till. Now, these here in the front are what they call row cleaners. They'll come in and they'll kind of kick some of the trash, like the old corn stalks, some of the, the weeds out of the way. You can see how nice and loose this ground is all the way down. The next blades back there are the same thing. They just run vertical and it just tills this and makes it a really good soft seed bed. Then the disc, the great big disc there in the back, when these blades are throwing a bunch of the dirt up, these blades here kind of contain it and kind of make a little berm with it. You can see they're at an angle there so you can kind of see our strips are about two inches higher than what the ground that is not tilled. To be really efficient a lot of guys run their fertilizer in here and drop it down dry fertilizer. You can run liquid fertilizer. We're not doing that. We're um, we're just using it for a seed bed but how this tool would do it it don't have a shank so if we were running it the fertilizer would be blowed through these tubes come down here and as all that dirt was getting mixed up it blows it out and it would be evenly distributed in this whole seed bed here we really like the strip till bar because uh, one it saves down on labor like if we would come in here and do a full tillage uh, conventional ground you're talking you know at least two passes with a disc or a disc ripper to tear this stuff up and bury it and get a nice seed bed. It is a little wet, a little wetter than what we'd like to do, but we know we're not gonna plant right away. We're gonna wait for, you know, they're calling for like two inches of rain starting tonight, so we'll get this rain on it. It'll kind of mellow it out, and uh, when we come back in next week, we'll have a, a perfect seed bed. Well, guys, uh, appreciate it, but we gotta keep running and try to beat the rain, so I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you. Kevin likes to waste a lot of time using the soil warrior to till ground, but this is how we do it. This is our expert, Mikey. He's gonna show us how it's done. We're gonna till dirt today. A better <laughs> method, better ways, easier. Quicker. Cost effective. <laughs> <laughs> All right, today we're gonna work dirt. We're gonna go ahead and we've mixed a few common ingredients and you're gonna see stuff fly today. Do this bucket and then after we're done with the bucket then we'll put the rest of the stuff okay i think i've used a shovel once in my life guys <laughs> so what do i do <laughs> right, the shovel hold it firmly <laughs> oh we're covering this yeah. oh okay see i can do that yeah do I hold it like this? Mm, no, not really. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Mikey knows what he's doing. All right, Mike. Do you want to put something in front? I have. Would water help it? Yeah. I have. Come on. Come There's... on, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya's gonna shoot off the back of the truck. Attempt. Attempt <laughs> to shoot off the back of the truck. And I have my good ammo today, so be no, no faults as anyone here. <laughs> so today it is going to happen. Don't try this at home, please. I'm Kaya Cobb and this is how you work dirt. Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, it's Maggie, sir. Oh my gosh, you missed? I missed. Ready, shoot, we're Makes you feel a little better. Oh, that's better. That's low. Mikey, is your nasal strip bothering you? That's your bitch! So 
looking pretty cool. Yeah! Good job, Mikey. Well worth the wait. Seven shots in. From the looks of it, it worked. There's dirt on my hands.